What's up guys, so this is Baymax from my newest Skillshare tutorial, but I want to make a really super simple version of this and we'll make it as a beginner tutorial uh, for people that are just getting into it. Uh, so yeah, I had fun and I made one for the bubble text and I'm sure you've seen it on the screen already. So let's just open up a new. So we'll create a new scene. Here we are. And I'm just going to change the background a little bit. You can tap here. And you can change the color to anything that you like. I usually do like a kind of a warmish color. So I'll do something like this. I'll do it a little darker because we're going to keep him white. So, and this little, this little globe I'm going to use a lot to just make sure that we're looking at the front of our scene. So let me just adjust the lighting real quick. Okay, so we're going to do this really simple and we're going to use all cylinders. So here, the scene menu, this is our scene. This is everything that we're working with. Here's our sphere and we're going to delete it. So we'll delete that and we're going to add a cylinder. So now we have our cylinder here and we want to use gizmo. So we'll tap on gizmo and we can go ahead and validate it. So now it's a part of our scene. I'll tap front again, and I want to use snap at 90 degrees so I can snap it forward. So see these rings? We can use this to snap it forward. Um, and obviously up and down, left and right, bigger, smaller. So that's what those, that's what those are. Um, so, okay, so now we are in a general position, we'll make this the head. So I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner like this. And then I'm gonna use this blue little sphere to kind of squash the head a little bit like this. It's looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna use the round edge brush. So round edge tool is really useful and I just uh, made a tutorial on rounded on round edge. So check out that tutorial if you don't already have this tool. It's very useful. I think it's either right before or right after this video. So just go check that out and then come back and jump back into it. So we'll tap front, we'll use rounded edge, and we'll just start from the middle and we'll go like this. Maybe three times is all we need. I think that looks pretty good. You can do an extra one if you're feeling uh, generous. <laughs> And that'll be the head. So that'll be the character's head. So let's take another, actually, we can probably use the same cylinder. Let's just rename this. So we're in scene, we have our cylinder. We'll rename it to head. We can clone it and we'll rename this body. So now we'll use our gizmo again. And now we're, we have a body and we have the head. So we'll just kind of stretch it out and make his general shape, which is like he's kind of teardrop shaped. It's quite a bit bigger. Actually, we'll do it a little bit better than I did the other one. So we'll start out this one with like kind of like a circle like this. Let's make it a little bit bigger. He has a, his head is pretty small. His head is fairly small, so I'm going to do it a lot bigger actually. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I'll move the head up. The head's right on top, but he has a very small head. So I think that looks good. And now when you turn it on the side, we'll go back to the big one and we'll just squeeze it so it's like the similar width. Like that. Okay, so now let's clone this body. So we'll clone the body, body one. And let's move this down and make it even a little bit bigger. This is a little more, uh, this is a little more complex than the one I made before, but I think that's okay. I think you guys can handle it. So I'm going to take this one and make it a little bit thinner. Something like that. Nice and round uh, down here. I think that's good. I think the shape's looking great. Head is a little big. Let me make it a little bit smaller. And then I'll thicken it up so it matches everything else. There we go. Perfect. 
All right, so we have to do the arms and the legs. So let's take the head and clone it. So now we have head one, but let's change that to legs. So let's name it legs. So we'll bring those down. And let's, let's take snap. We still have snap on, so we'll use this green ring and we'll just snap it this way. So now we just have one straight, looks like a, um, like a popsicle or something. So we have that, but we want to make this a mirror. We, need, we want to mirror this leg. So we go back into the scene. We're on legs. We have it selected. Then we do add and mirror. So now the legs are in a mirror. So you have to make sure that you're not on the mirror or else you'll just be going like this and this will be all up here and it's kind of annoying. Oops. We'll go back. Oops. You have to make sure that you're on the leg. So tap on the leg and now you can separate it and you have two legs. Let me just make sure that this is straight. Yeah, it looks straight. So let's make these legs a little bit bigger and let's tilt them. Oh, we have to take it off snap. Let's tilt them a little bit, kind of like this, and let's stretch them out a little bit. Push them up into the body a little bit more. Can untilt them a little bit, a little bit bigger. I think that looks pretty good. And you can also take your move tool and make it a little bit bigger. So you can take your move tool and if you want to adjust them like a little bit more, you can always you can always move them like this. You know, if you want to kind of just give them a little bit more shape or something like that, you can move them that way too. But I think they're looking pretty good. Thicken them up a little bit. Make sure that they're nice and flat with everything else. Okay, I think that looks good. So now let's take these legs and we're going to make these arms. So let's, even though it's in the mirror, we can still clone it and we'll rename this arms. So now we have legs and arms. And then we can just move these up. Let's tilt them. So they're kind of like this. But with the arms, they're kind of they're they're a very specific shape. So in order to do that, we're going to we're going to let's do a little trickery here. So we're going to squash it down so it's like this. And actually you can see uh, it's a little bit off since I used the move tool. It's not, we kind of, uh, we didn't use symmetry, so it's a little weird, but that's okay. So we'll go here to the symmetry and let's go down and turn on show line. So now we can see the line. So what we want is a line going down here and that's green. And I think that's green. Yeah, green. So we just want the Y and then we'll take move. Symmetry's on. So essentially when I move here, it's going to move the other side as well. So this line will always be whatever you choose. If you choose the blue or the red, like if I have the blue, you find this line and this is what the symmetry is going to be. If I do it here, it's going to happen on this side. So that line is your symmetry line and we want green, just green. So we use the move tool and his arms start off small here and then they get sort of bigger at the bottom. Let's make the move tool a little bit bigger so it's nice and smooth. There we go. So we'll make it nice and round like this. And then we'll kind of bring it inwards like this. And we'll kind of bring it down. I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks nice. And his belly too. His belly is a bit, um, it's a bit wide. So we can take move and let's turn on red and green. And maybe we can just sort of just make it a little bit thinner on top and a little bit wider on the bottom. That looks good. So now let's go back to the arms. So we'll tap on the arms. We'll use the gizmo and we'll restretch the arms out to match everything else. I think that looks great. Let's bring the head down a smidge. Looks great. 
All right, so now let's do the last part. We'll just add his little eyes and his little line across that sort of resembles a mouth. Let me do a quick save. Uh, Baymax. It should have been Baby Baymax. Baby Baymax. Okay, so for this, we're just going to use uh, another cylinder. So let's go to the scene and we'll add another cylinder. We want to turn snap back on because we want it to snap forward. So we we'll snap it forward. We'll move it up. We'll use this orange ring to shrink it. Shrink it a little bit more. Shrink it up a little bit this way. And we can tap mirror and then we can separate. Let's make it a little bit smaller and then let's bring them all the way back to the head. I'll do it when I'll do that one again for the video. Okay. Now we make them a little bit smaller, maybe. A little bit like this. And you know what else? His head is a little bit rounder, so I'm doing a little bit extra now, but we'll tap on the head. And we'll do the same thing with the symmetry again. So we want to make sure that we have symmetry on. We're on the head. We have the green and the red line. We have our symmetry line. So let's use move. And basically, uh, actually, let's choose blue as well. So we're going to do all of them. And see how rounded it is? His head is a little more... Um, it sticks out a little bit more. So it's kind of like, make this a little smaller. It's a little bit more like that. It's very slight, but you, you know me, I'm, I'm, I love my details. So I think that's good. So now we have his little eyes. Let's go back to the gizmo. And I think I'm gonna separate them a little bit more. If it ever starts doing weird things like this, shout out to Shane. Uh, you have to tap the other one, and then it'll move the way that it should move. So I think that looks good. They're right in the middle of his head. Do they need to be a little bit further away? Maybe a little bit further away. Okay, that looks perfect. We don't really have to do much with them. And then we'll take... Uh, what will we use? Let's use... Um, so we have the cylinder. We can go ahead and select both of these and validate. Yes. And we'll call this eyes. All right. And we can even take this too. We can take this whole mirror and validate it. And it's arms and legs. Arms. Legs. So now we have arms and legs. And we have body, body one. Let's take body and body one, just those two, and let's join them. So now we just have body. Okay. Good. So now we need to just make a line across. So let's use a square. So we'll go add, we'll use a box. Pull it out. Shrink it up. Shrink it this way. Shrink it a little bit more. Oh, gotta be careful. Uh, you don't wanna like change the orientation of it. So now we'll just move this up. This is gonna be the straight line that goes across. So we'll just use the gizmo to move it into place where we like it. It's right in the middle. And I'll make it a little bit thinner. Like that. Perfect. And I'm going to connect this so we have the box. I want to connect it with the eyes. So we'll hit join. So now that's all together. Okay, I think it looks uh, really good. Uh, one thing that we can do is since we're here, let's join the body together. So we've clicked on the body. Let's tap here, voxel. And let's say, let's do it at like 200. So we'll bring the resolution to 200 and then hit remesh. 
And then we'll take our smooth tool, make it a little bigger. Or you can take rounded edge, actually, too. You can take rounded edge, and then you can smooth this out. And then he has a nice smooth body. You can also take the smooth tool and just smooth, smooth it out manually as well. Okay, I think that looks good. I think it looks great. So now you pretty much have your uh, your shape. And if you want to, if you want to adjust it a little bit more, you can always take move. So let's say we take move and then we turn on the green. So we go to the symmetry. Green's already on. Perfect. And then you can just adjust, you know, if you want to change some things or just make it a little bit more like teardroppy or something. Anyway, so yeah, just make it look how you want. I think that looks really good, actually. It's pretty, it's a good likeness for him and his pudgy self. Uh, also, you see, I have a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a bend there. If you have that, you can voxel remesh. So this is just a, whoops. This is just a shortcut for what we did before here. Voxel remesh. This is just a shortcut. And if you want to add that shortcut, you just go, where is it? Add shortcuts. And these are all shortcuts that you can add to this bar here. And that's here. Okay, so you just scroll up. And then I can remesh it lower at like 130. So I'll do that. And then I'll take smooth and just smooth that area. And since I remeshed lower, I'll turn symmetry, actually I'll leave symmetry on, but I'm gonna turn green off. We don't need green anymore. So we're just using the red symmetry, so it's just the left and the right. That looks better. Now there's no, there's nothing there. All right, he's looking, he's looking perfect. Uh, oh, and now something else really fun that we can do We'll add a cylinder. We'll use our gizmo. We'll squash it. And then we'll bring it down. We can make it a little bit bigger. Squash it again. And we can, let's go with this little option here and let's raise the post, the subdivision to two and do linear. And then we'll validate it. We'll take our rounded edge. We should be able to just, yeah, there we go. We just do a little bit of a rounded edge. Looks good. You can even decimate it if you want. That's decim decimating. Once you do the rounded edge, you can decimate things. That when you, just makes them lighter. It takes away, um, it kind of recalculates the vertices and it removes them. Uh, so you have to be careful because it obviously, eventually it'll start looking like garbage. But let's say for this, it's 19,000 vertices. That's kind of a lot. So we'll go here, decimate, and then here there's the decimate option. So we'll decimate once, twice, three times, maybe four times. Now it's only like a thousand. Still looks the same. Um, so that's just a quick lesson in decimation because sometimes you don't need all those extra vertices. And you can do that with these other pieces too. Um, you know, you can do that with these other pieces. Let's say the body, if we wanted to decimate. We could probably do it a few times as well and it still looks good so you can do the same thing with the uh we, i might as well just do them all <laughs> since we're talking about it there legs oh i think the arms and legs were together here's the head that's already quite low so i might just do it once and then we have this the eyes so we might do that once or twice too so now our scene is, is really, really tiny. Oh, but see, it looks ugly. We don't want that. So we'll put it back to normal. So here's another trick. So we have the eyes. Uh, I'm going to voxel remesh. So I'm going to voxel remesh at like 250. So we'll voxel remesh at 250. We'll take smooth, uh, smooth edge, rounded edge. Do that a few times, and then we'll decimate. So now let's decimate. There we go, it keeps going down. 
So now we have it down to 575 and it still looks pretty good. So that's another trick uh, with decimation. You can make your projects really small that way. All right, let's bring this up a little bit. So we'll bring this, this base up. Okay, that makes sense. And the only, the only other thing we need to do is tap on the eyes. We'll tap this little circle here, that's our color. We'll bring this little circle down. And we wanna make it rough. We don't want any um, light hit it, like light shines or anything from those eyes. So there we go. And there's one little other thing that I forgot. So we'll add another cylinder. Actually, you know what we can use? We can take this cylinder. So let's clone this bottom cylinder. Let's make this one the uh, platform. And then the one above, we can make, let's just call it an emblem. So we'll take emblem, snap 90. So we'll snap it forward, we'll move it up. Move it here, shrink it, and this goes on his chest. So move it to his chest. I mean, you can pull it, that'll make it a little bit easier if you stretch it out. So it's something like this. And there you go. And you have your little uh, baby Baymax. Uh, this was super fun. Oh no, the, eye, the arms are a little, uh, they got a little warped from the, from the decimation. So you know what? Oh, the legs did too a little bit. So you know what? I'll box remesh them high again. They, get, they got a little ugly. I'll take rounded edge and I'll just round. Hopefully it'll let me round them out. So I'm just doing the exact same thing I did. I just uh, voxel remesh them higher and then I'm just using rounded edge to get them nice and marshmallowy again. I think that looks great. And then I'll just have to pay more attention. So I've done the rounded edge a lot. I'll go back to decimate and I'll decimate it again, but I'll just pay more attention and just make sure I don't lose that much detail. That's probably the most of that I'll do. Looks great. And let's do a quick lighting. So we'll turn off the environment, add a light, turn this light up a little bit, maybe like 1.5. Looks good. So then we'll add another light. Let's move this light over here. Let's turn it so it hits the other side of him. So maybe something like this. But let's turn the intensity down. Turn the intensity to like 0 0.4, 0 0.4 or so. All of these, you want to make the shadow soft. So all the lights, would tap here, tap soft. You can go back to the first light. Just tap the light, tap here, tap soft. And actually, we can turn this light up a tiny bit more. 1.7 or so. All right, looks good. Oh, and we have to change the texture of him too. So let's just select everything, except for the light. So all the everything that's white, we'll go up here, we'll go to white, and we want it at like maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.6 or so. So something like that. Ooh, we don't want these lights, but we can change that back. We don't want, we didn't want it to do it to the eyes, so we'll just change the eyes back to black and turn them back up rough. Okay, that's better. So now let's do another light. So this light, let's move behind him. 
doesn't really matter where the light goes, but that's just so we know where the light is. So now we'll turn the light on so it's hitting them in the back. So when we look at them straight on, I'm just moving the light so you can kind of visually see where it is. So when you're in your front view, uh, line it up in the middle. And actually you can save this view by going here, add view, make sure that you're in perspective, hit add view. And then it just saves your view. So if you move it around, you can go back to that view. And I already did it. So uh, for this light, you just want to shine it. So it's just hitting. It's making a nice little rim light here. So you just want to put it behind him and shine it on his little back like that. I think that looks good. And the very last light, uh, the very last one, uh, this will be a top down. So we want to go here and change it to a spotlight. Let's zoom out a little bit. We're going to put it right over his head. So we'll move it up. And then just use these rings to sort of maneuver it down. So it's right over his little head. Actually, I think that looks great. And I like to make this one a little bit cool. So I tap here, I go to the blue color, and just make it a little, I, I like to just add a little bit of color to that light. It looks great. If you want, you can open the cone angle a bit so it's a little brighter, or a little, so it's a little wider, I should say. And also, I forgot to turn this off. My phone keeps telling me I don't have any space, even though I have like 250 gigs on it. Um, so it should look more like this. Uh, but what you want to do now is turn the environment back on. So go here, oops, go here, turn your environment on, but turn it down. Mine's at 0.6, so turn it down low. And again, this is the environment that uh, is with the class. Uh, this environment is also on my Gumroad, so if you want to use this specific environment, you can use other ones, just tap, and you can use any of these environments. You might look a little different, but you can use any of these. Um, but yeah, so that's the environment, the environment's on, and then next just go here to post process. Uh, you can turn off the render resolution when you're ready to export it. You can play around with global illumination, you can play around with all this stuff, but honestly, I think it looks good. Like, I'm not really looking to do too much more crazy with this little guy. I think he looks really nice. Oh, there is one thing I wanted to do, last but not least. Let's tap here and go back to our view. So we'll go to our front view and let's go back here and let's highlight all of these, not the light and not the eyes uh, and maybe not this little emblem, but everything else we'll tap here, it's subsurface and you can turn it down a little bit, maybe like 0 0.2, 0 0.22 or so. Subsurface is always, always pretty nice. And that's pretty much it. I think he looks uh, very cute. And we can, you can export if you want to change the, the color of the background. Maybe you, want to, maybe you want to go with a Baymax style red. Maybe do a little bit. No, I think red is good. You know, you can do it something like that. And you just go here and save. And then you scroll down and then you can do it with a transparent background that'll just be this figure it won't be the red or you can just uh export it as one of these 4k whatever you know what have you um but i'll just do 720 because that's the fastest rendering and then you have your render so then you can save it just tap here you can airdrop it somewhere else or you can save the image and then you are done so that's it this is a little bright for me it's a little bright. I like the red, but it's a little bright. Maybe I'll do like a... I don't know what color... Ooh, I think I want to do something like this. Something like a nice bright. That looks nice. It's a little bit different. Let's go ahead and try a turntable. Keep current and see what that does. It's a little slow. Turn the speed up a little bit. There you go. Not the greatest turntable. I really don't understand turntables. <laughs> but there you go. 
Uh, but that's the little baby Baymax. This was really fun. Uh, this is a companion again. Uh, definitely check out my Skillshare class. Uh, we make the big Baymax, the official Baymax. But this is a really cute um, companion character for him. And I love it. I kind of wish, I, I feel like he, they would, he would make good sugar cookies. Um, marshmallows. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. All right, that's enough spinning. I'll let you stop spinning. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, really helps my channel out. Definitely check out my Skillshare classes. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.